Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to be doing a yarn review. Sorry for the brown paper. The yarn I'm reviewing is a white, so I want it to be able to show up. Actually, it's a yarn comparison. So if you don't know, which I'm sure you do because I'm a little late in the game at getting this, this is a uh, Walmart's new brand, mainstay of 100% um, cotton yarn that they're starting to sell. So, um, I had a lot of people tell me about it, that I needed to get it. They said that it was super similar to Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton. Well, Hobby Lobby I Love This Cotton used to be my favorite cotton that I can get within the States. But it's still my second favorite. I like it a lot. Um, it's very soft. I want to compare the two because a lot of people told me that they were, they were uh, similar. So... I have a white in both of them. Now, when you put them together, first thing I notice is Hobby Lobby's white is not quite as bright as Walmart's. Can you guys see that difference? It's, I mean, they're both still white, um, but this one is just, the Hobby Lobby is just not, it's just a different color white, I guess. Not quite as bright. It would be my... Uh, what I would say but it's not really visible I mean if you mix the two together you would be able to tell but I mean otherwise it's probably not that big of a difference really um, as far as specs go Walmart's cotton 100% cotton 180 yards 165 meters 3.5 ounces 100 grams Hobby Lobby's the exact same um let's see as far as the specs go for need or needle and hook size they're both classified as a medium weight number for um knitting needle is five millimeter for walmart and it's also a five millimeter for hobby lobby only difference here is the crochet hook size is a five millimeter for walmart's brand and a five and a half for uh hobby lobby's brand um, they are both made in Turkey. Washing instructions are the same also. Um, so when I fill them, they feel identical. There's really no difference. This Now remember, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I'm only giving you my personal assessment of the two. They feel extremely identical. The Hobby Lobby is wound in a tighter, tighter ball. As you can tell the, by looking at it, it makes the Walmart skein. Walmart's ball looks like it's bigger, but it's just looser wound. This is tighter wound. But they are the same amount of yardage and everything. So, yeah, you can tell that's brighter white than that. But other than that, they feel the exact same. So, everything about them is pretty much <clears throat> identical. Um, but I gotta do more testing. I have to crochet with it. What do you think? I can't know for sure <clears throat> unless you crochet. Let me look at the them up close. pretty much the same I would say sorry for staring at it so long I'm just trying to get a good look at the weight on both of them those are the same those are the same now it's you know it's not uncommon for yarn different uh, yarn companies to use the same factory and label the same factory makes the same yarn for different yarn companies and then they just put that yarn company's label on it. <clears throat> so it very well could be that this yarn is identical, made from the same company or same manufacturer in Turkey. They just they just put the Walmart label on this one and the Hobby Lobby label on this one. That's not uncommon. I find yarns like that all the time. But um, I can't say 100% certain if that's true. Um, I can tell you though, um, Hobby Lobby does have about, uh, <laughs> I don't know, a gazillion colors of this cotton 
um, from pastels to the lightest of the pastels to the darkest of the darks to um, uh, even yarn with even even with uh, sparkle in it. Now, Walmart, you're not going to get that. You're only going to get a limited amount, <coughs> limited amount of colors. And when I say limited, I mean really, really limited. They, they're just not going to carry a bunch. But the convenience I can see being a Walmart versus I love this cotton is not everybody has a Hobby Lobby around them. And this is a very good cotton. If this is equally as good, I'm going to do some testing on it. I'm going to do wash, wash and dry swatch in the washer. Um, but if this ends up being equally as good, this could be a, a, a great alternative to those who only shop at Walmart for yarn. Um, because so far to me, they're the, they feel the exact same. They look the exact same. Their specs are almost identical. So, um, I'm going to do a little crocheting and I'm going to wash it, swatch and dry swatch of each and see if it pills, see if it shrinks. I'm going to wash it as the instructions say. Now I know that people, some people wash in bags, on gentle, some people, I always hand wash, I, I don't put stuff in a washer unless I'm doing a review or something, but I know people can wash differently, that's fine, but the reason why I'm going to, I'm going to do it as per instructions, as it says to do it, I know you can do it different and maybe make it not peel and maybe make it not shrink, um, but I'm just going to do what it says that you can do. That's the way, that's the correct way for me to do this review is to follow the instructions on the label because that's what, especially if you're new to yarn, that's what someone's going to do. If you don't have a lot of experience with yarn, you're going to look at the label and you're going to see how to take care of it. So that's why I'm going to do it that way. You're not going to know that uh, if you wash it a special way, maybe it won't peel or anything like that. So I'm going to wash it as per instructions. They both have the same instructions. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I crocheted a swatch with them. They both crochet the same. They didn't split. They didn't do anything. These are small swatches, but so as you can see, I don't. I have the. I used a size I uh, crochet hook on both of them, and I did the exact same number of chains, <laughs> the exact same number of rows, and they are the exact same size right now. So before I put them in the washer. We will go ahead and measure them so we know two and a half, two and a half, exactly. Two and a half, two and a half. Then we got, oh, three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters. Sorry. Yeah, they're both the same. They're both the same size, exactly. One is Walmart, one is Hobby Lobby. I'm going to wash them, and I'm going to see if they shrink or if they pill. This one is indeed Walmart. There's my W. That way we can tell them apart after the wash. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. That was a quick washing. Dry cycle wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so I have my pieces here. Um, and I got my Walmart and my uh, Hobby Lobby. So, I uh, washed as per instructions. And they were both the same size when I put them in. And um, if you're going to ask, my washing machine does not have the agitator thing in the middle or whatever that is. All right, some people ask me that, but no, it does not. Okay, so we calculated when we put them in that they were both three and three quarters inches and two and a half wide. So my Hobby Lobby, let's give it a measure, is now four and um, a little over four and a quarter. So it stretched out and shrunk. No, it's still the same width. It seems like it stretched out a bit. Okay, I don't know why, but it did. Let's try Walmart's. Um, it sh barely shrunk up about a quarter inch this way, just barely. And then width wise, um, it's pretty close to being about the same. It might have stretched out just a bit, but other than that, it's just about the same. So, um, I mentioned before that I don't ever wash anything in the washer and dryer. No matter what I crochet, I always hand wash it and lay it flat to dry because I spend 
you know, I spend like we spend crush crocheters and others a lot of time crocheting stuff and I just can't bear to put it in a washer and dryer. But then again, I don't make blankets so or, or afghans, so it's easier for me to do that for smaller things. Now not everybody can do that, not everybody has a space and not everybody has a time. So I just want that's why I did the swatch thing. As far as peeling goes, there is some here on the Hobby Lobby. Walmart the same. So um I would say that I'm not really sure why the Hobby Lobby stretched out a little bit, but you know, it's not much. It did, I don't know. They're dry. I don't know, maybe if it shrinked up if I just kept over drying it. I, <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not much on washing, um, like I said, and drying in the dryer, but otherwise, you know, they're pretty much the same. Um, they both peeled a bit. They look okay after becoming out of the wash and dry. They didn't shrink up really. This one got longer, but stayed the same width. This was the same width, pretty much, but just shrunk just a very, very little bit on this. So, pretty much, I would call it, they're probably about going to do the same thing in the washer. Um, that would be my call. Now, price-wise, Hobby Lobby is... $379 for the exact same thing that Walmart you pay $297 for. So Walmart's is a little bit cheaper. But Hobby Lobby does have 30% off all their yarns every other week, which would make this $266 every other week. Plus they have an array of colors of solids, variegated, and sparkles. So I if I had to say, now I can't prove it 100%, I would say these are the same yarns and they came from the same factory. They just have different labels. That's my guess. But if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you and you don't, um, some people don't shop at Hobby Lobby for their own reasons, um, this is an excellent substitute. I mean, it's if, if you've never, if you've always wanted to try Hobby Lobby cotton and you don't live near one, you've never tried it, here you go. In my recommendation, it's the same exact same. Same thing. So I see nothing wrong with this Hobby Lobby I would use for wash rags in the kitchen, dish rags, what anything kitchen kitcheny, and I would also use it for clothing because it's soft enough for that. It you know, that wouldn't bother me. I would do the same thing with this yarn. So that's that's it. That's I think they're the same yarn. You guys let me know in the comments. Now remember, that's only my my opinion, you know. I see lots of yarns that I think are the same. They just strap a different label on them. And I, I really do think that these are, these are the same. Everything about them is identical. The yardage, the, the amount in them, the way they crochet, the, the way they look. Other than this, a little bit duller, dingier looking white. I don't know. I mean, that, that isn't to say that maybe Hobby Lobby has a brighter white there. They possibly could. I have no idea. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a while. But I can say that I like this yarn and I will buy it again Walmart's definitely because my Walmart's like 10 minutes away from me and my Hobby Lobby's 30 minutes away so it's way easier for, for me to get this cotton than it is Hobby Lobby but like I said the downfall is this, this there's not a lot of colors to choose from but if I wanted to get some cotton you know and I didn't really care about the color um, I didn't need a specific color I would go to Walmart and pick it up because it would be easier for me here's a few colors that my Walmart had they had this pink which I thought was pretty they had this green um, they have this they had this brown and then they had a gray which I don't I thought that I got but I didn't it's not in my sack so anyways those I think my Walmart had five colors these four here and then a gray um, so you let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that these two are the same? Hobby Lobby and Walmart? I do. Do you, does your Walmart have, if you've seen this, I'm sure you have, have more colors than the five that I've mentioned? Let me know if they do and what colors they are. I'm curious because maybe my Walmart will get more in. But that's my review. It's a good thing for those that don't live by a Hobby Lobby or don't shop there because I think this is the same yarn. I'm pretty happy about it, actually. Pretty excited. Everybody for watching. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments all the questions I ask you. I always appreciate spending the time with you guys. You guys stay safe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye, guys.